We're going to talk to you for a second about the show. This particular show, Wild Biz Nebraska, is brought to you by The Daily Record here in Omaha, Nebraska. And The Daily Record should ring a bell with you because The Daily Record has been around this city and this state for over a hundred years. Years. I got to say that again. A hundred years is how long the Daily Record has been printing primarily legal listings. I'm sure you're starting to put two and two together here and remember that there are all the every single day there are dozens and dozens of legal judgments that are uh, have to be uh, kind of uh, printed and distributed and everybody has to know. Now, <clears throat> the publishers have. Uh, have, have gone away, of course. We have a new generation of publisher, Jason Huff and his wife Erin, uh, and a small, tight, hardworking team. They've got freelancers and so on, all working together to kick out, can you imagine now, every single day, okay? You know how busy that is? That's a lot. Oh my goodness. But but here's the thing I want to share with our audience here today, real briefly. You got to, first of all, you should be subscribing to The Daily Record because I've I come to find out, and I'm going to I'm, I'm going to try to reach in here and show you, just, just to remind you, they've come a long ways graphically. They're uh, really updating their uh, stuff that used to be just very, very mundane. Now we've got some great pictures. We've got color on the front cover. And we have some uh, controversial topics. They're covering some, some uh, topics journalistically that are, are controversial and mm. good interviews and stuff like that. So, so it's good, all, good reading. Then. Good, it's a good read. Yeah. yeah. Above and beyond, of course, this stuff. Right. right? right. Now, I, I don't mean to say that despairingly. No. I've, I've finally taken the time, as should everybody in this, the city of Omaha, Nebraska, and beyond, and take some time and actually take a look at what is going on in our city. Because, ladies and gentlemen, every single one of these paragraphs, these tight little paragraphs of text, is an indication of change. Yeah. Change is happening right beneath our noses. So when one person d dies and an estate is distributed, all of a sudden, th things need to happen, right? right? Uh, if there's a divorce, well, there could be therapy, there could be a, a, a house that's being sold, you need movers, there's all kinds of interesting things that come about as these, yeah. these deep changes that happen in our lives. And of course, ladies and gentlemen, new businesses start every day in Omaha, Nebraska. Every day. And uh, there's an attorney, of course, that does all the paperwork, but then you find out exactly where the business is, you find out who owns the business, right? And you can put two and two together and find out, well, these guys are going to need this or that based upon what they're, what they're producing or selling or whatever. That really is a gold mine. It's a gold mine, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> i got to tell you, if you're in sales, you, have a, you sell anything. I don't care if it's lawn care, if it's a roof, interior design, <laughs> furniture. I don't care what it is, services, financial services. This is a gold mine. I say that with great seriousness. Now, when people find that out, and not everybody has, but, but people are figuring out, right. this, this is a better resource than we realize, yeah. right? Um, you just shut the door of your office and sit down for half an hour and it's there. So, but here's the key, right? They need some advertising, right? And it's a wonderful opportunity for you to dominate very important, the media, right? I'm sure people have told you before as you come up and marketing and so on, don't try to be everything to everybody. Find some kind of a sandbox or a wheelhouse where you can be the primary player, even right. if it's kind of small. Right. Now, how many views, and I don't mean to put you on the spot here, but I'm going to anyway, how <laughs> many views would you guess this paper and the, the um, you know, the commensurate website, okay. very, very nice website that they have, this is the omahadailyrecord.com, how many views would you think that they would be getting minimum every week? Huh? Any idea? I'm just going to throw out a number, 5,000. 4,500 to 5,000. Really? Okay. You okay. are awesome, <laughs> Bruce. Smarter than I thought. No, that is, that is great. So that's a great huh. example. And that's, that, that's not bad. No, that's, that's not. A, I mean, there are a lot of <laughs> websites that don't get that kind of yeah. visitation. Yeah. So that is really cool. If you want to attract, and by the way, who would you guess the uh, primary readers are of the Daily Record? Huh? Are they up market or are they downscale? They're going to be up market. Are they up They're going to be our attorneys. Well, I was going to say, it's primarily attorneys, I think, okay. right? All right. Yeah, attorneys and real estate people, commercial, bankers. So this is an up market if you, if you want to advertise and get in front of those kinds of people here in this city. And you do. Uh, you definitely want to get involved with the Daily Record.